Hot 937, hey. hard for a simple one for hip hop and R&B. The woman you love right there. I love that song, Ashanti. Thank you, I love it too. I told her, I, I don't even feel she needed Busta on there. I, I think Busta is hot on it, but I, I didn't even feel like she needs it. The song is so hot, you didn't even need him. It sounds good, and I gotta uh, let things out of the bag. I'm just going on record saying I did play this record first. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there. And I was with your man Busta Rhymes yesterday and we were talking about it. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I was so you yesterday. okay, I gotta come over there and give you a big giant hug. And I'll just hey. <laughs> you know what? Cast on everybody, give me the props, I'll take it myself. I, swear, I played it first. I just wanna let you know he could be lying. Uh oh. Not lying, check the BDS. <laughs> okay. All right. I appreciate that. All right. Somebody said to me one day, <clears throat> you know, I was playing that song and they said, Jenny, do you think Ashanti wrote that for Nelly? That's Did what they really say that. Swear. That was a guy that said that to me. <laughs> oh, wow. You think she, she wrote that for Nelly? I wrote that for everybody that has been in a relationship that feels like they're not being loved and feel like that everything they're doing isn't enough. That's really who I wrote the record for. Okay. <laughs> I, I found, especially with men, though, she's over there giggling. Um, I found with men, though, and you know what's so funny? It's like you could be like the most beautiful, most successful, you could have like a, a six pack of uh, muscles. Because I've never, I haven't seen those in like 20 years of me. And uh, like you could have all this stuff, mm -hmm. and then your man could still be like rotten, like still not appreciate. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's it's very very prominent, you know. So what does it take? Um, I think it just takes being in love and and being confident and having self esteem and having trust. You know, both sides of the fence. It's mm -hmm. funny because we were having this conversation uh, in the car the other day. Where, where was I? Down in. DC and Baltimore and all that stuff and um, we were talking there just about relationships and trust and being confident in yourself you know what I mean right so it, it, it that definitely plays a part into it what also sucks too like in your situation is that there everybody's always watching you to see any old little tiny thing mm -hmm. all the time so do you go like on the websites and you're like oh you read all this stuff and you're like what well, you know like does that create any sort of issues in a relationship or I mean when you see things on the blogs, sometimes you, you just have to laugh, you know, and just understand that it's part of it, you know, it's going to come along with the territory, you know, and then you have the ability to clear things up or not clear things up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, I'm a person that I, I, I say what I need to say. <laughs> you know, I let you know like, what I mean That's what I just seen on Bossip.com. Don't I'm deny it. There, that's it. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. You were in the strip club last night. Don't deny it. <laughs> Is that how it goes? I mean... And then your mother... You tell me. Yeah. Is that how it goes? I don't know. <laughs> how does it go, Jenny? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, yeah, because everybody was waiting for you and Nelly to get married. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm living through you. I think we both, we're just really busy right now, you know. He's working. I'm not chewing gum on the air. Hold on. Oh, sorry, spit it at Joey. He's fine. working. He's yeah. working on his album. Obviously, I'm finishing up my album. We're both, like, really, really career-driven right now. But we're good. Okay. Do you guys talk about getting married? Or you're like, you know, we'd really like to get married after the next album oh comes gosh. out? The name of the album is Brave Heart, and it is amazing. Oh, we haven't even got to that yet. I'm very, very excited <laughs> about it. <laughs> Um, Does he get? Is he like a guest feature on the album? Who oh, Nelly? Yeah. No. You didn't get him <laughs> to go in the album. <laughs> uh -uh. Nah. Okay. I'm assuming that I'm gonna think that you're not together, but I would really like for you to be together. I'm just gonna say that. You have every right to assume whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, he's just mad because the blogs are saying she's doing records with Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, we were just discussing that because Ashanti said that there's a record out there that people think. They're together on the record. Who, me and John? Yes. Yeah, that... that was, and that's, was, that was the record I was referring to when I asked you the first time around. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm a telling girl you. girl played it for me in her iPod when I was in Delaware at the, the radio station. And she said, so, when do you guys do this record? And I was like, who? And, and I read it, and it said, Ja Rule and Ashanti. And I'm like, that's not me. I heard the girl singing, and I'm like, that's not me. I so, think we played that record on the air and Jenny, said it was you. Jenny, why did you do that, Jenny? Because <laughs> I, I think we thought it was you. That was the record I was talking about. No. Then when you stopped me, I was like, I think if me and Jai do another record, I think, you know, people are going to know. You know what I'm saying? I, I think... felt like I knew. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like Craig played it. Me and Craig were like, oh, yeah, that's Jai and Ashanti. That's oh dope that y'all are working gosh. together again. But oh we were, we re misrepresented you and don't sue us. <laughs> I told Ashanti I wore my push-up bra just because she was coming. 
I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I knew she Thanks. I mean, I know. Nah, Shanti's got good boobs. You know, you don't want to be over here with the boobs that are hanging in the belly button with the Shanti in the building, you know? You got some metal wear on. I, oh yeah, pretty gosh. much. I told Ashanti that, you know, because I'm going to be on 106 in Park today, that I'm going to look better than she looked the other day on 106 in Park. She feels threatened. I do. Is that <laughs> is that what you got from that? <laughs> I'm glad you took care of that she one. Started, that was she way. started crying. <laughs> she started crying. Is that what you got from that conversation, Jenny? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, she said, I'm going to make sure and watch you so I can see, like, what you was looking like because I know you was looking, you know, really good. And I'm okay. like, yeah. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Sure with you. Self-esteem is on 10,000. <laughs> Shut up, Ashanti. <laughs> so what's going on with your album? Talk to us about the album. I'm excited, very, very excited. Are you nervous? This is your own label now, right? Yes. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little, uh, well, I already said that. I'm a little nervous. I'm very excited. Uh, my record label, Written Entertainment, Long time in the making. My last album came out in 08. And, you know, things wow. have changed drastically Ride since Riding around then. and I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been riding around and getting it. <laughs> but um, things have definitely changed so much, you know, with music, just the industry itself. And I think the sound of music sonically has changed so much, you know. So in the past two years, like from 09 to 2010, I had seven offers from majors. And it was really scary and hard to walk away because it's, it's like the fear of the unknown, you right, know what right. I mean? But I just couldn't handle the 360. I just couldn't do it, mm -hmm. you know? So I said, for me, business-wise, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is to start my own company. So, Written Entertainment, very excited. The album is called Braveheart. Super excited about that. The name means so much. Um, it kind of just explains my journey of where I am right now. Have you seen the movie Braveheart? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you might cut out what? Uh-oh, have you seen the movie Braveheart? I have. You Absolutely. know, with Mel Gibson. Yes, I have seen it. So the whole metaphor it. that I... His head gets chopped off at the end. Yeah, sure it does. <laughs> but the metaphor of it, for me, is like, you know, the Europeans had the big horses and the armor and the shields and the helmets, you know, and the guns and everything. And the Scots had homemade weapons and they had on rags and skirts and blue paint and things like that. And I feel like... The majors are like the Europeans and the Indies are like the Scots. You know what I'm saying? But the Scots came for blood and they were very passionate and they fought with a hunger and a passion. And I feel like that's where I am right now. And it's not a real, it's not a fair playing field, but you have to come for that blood. You are you I mean? surprised though, like with you being on your own label now and, and whatever else, that you're getting as much radio play as you are because you are everywhere. Every, but the song is a certified smash. Thank you. So I that doesn't, it. I mean, that definitely helps, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. It's really hard, you know what I'm saying? And it's not just about the records, it's about everything. It's about the brand, it's about expanding the empire, you know what I mean? And right. It's about expanding outside of music as well. So all of that helps, you know? Um, again, it, you have to be fearless and you have to be destined and you have to stay focused on what you want to do, you mm -hmm. know? Because it's hard, you're not promised tomorrow. We see people die every day. You know what I mean? So you have to really get in there and, and, and pursue yours. I think too, like, you know, I mean, I saw you briefly after the whole Murder, Inc. Um, breakup or whatever. But I think that for you, a lot of people just kind of get stuck and they, and they stay in the same thing. Like, even if it's not a good situation or whatever, they just stay there. Right. And you were very brave to be able to, like, pick up and go and because you just didn't, you know, you knew it wasn't the right situation anymore. But you see how you just said that? You see how that makes so much sense? You said you were very brave to go. Yeah. The name no, of you were. was Braveheart. <laughs> Good tie-in. Do it, Jenny. Boom, boom. Good tie-in, Ashanti. <laughs> Great tie-in. So you love the rappers. I know you love some rappers. I know you love you some rappers. So who's, <laughs> who's going to be who, who's gonna be on the uh, album? Um, You got some rappers on there? Uh, let me see. You know what? As it's... Mm, mm, You're still deciding? I'm still deciding on that, but I will say there are... Um, there are two people that I'm really excited about that are not rappers. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't confirm too much right now, but what I will say is one of the letters starts with an R, so I'm excited about that. Wow. And also... If it's who I'm thinking it is, then, you know... It could be hot. Okay. And the other Female or male? Record, I can't tell you, then that's going to give it away. Well, I say I thought... <laughs> our, our, I never thought it I thought R. Kelly or Ro female. Robin Thicke. That's who I thought, R. Kelly or Robin okay. Thicke. Okay. So... I ain't mad at that. Okay. Um, and then I did a record with Keisha Cole. That is dope. Uh, woman to Woman is for her album. Um, we have to talk about if it's going to be on my album and all that good stuff. But the the record is is crazy. I love it. Oh good. Yeah. Oh good. You know it'd be nice to hear from Keisha. Mhm. Mm because she's been you know doing the whole wife you know mom thing for a while. So now she hasn't yeah. really been you know out there. <laughs> so Ashanti. 
Yes. The album is coming soon. Yes, coming in spring. Well, wonderful. Mm -hmm. You feel good about it? You feel happy, huh? I do. I do. I mean, the album is is it's a little bit different. It's very drum heavy. It's very drum heavy. It's very melodic. Um, I did one record very different with all live instrument instruments. It's called R.I.P. and it's very very visual. I okay. Love, I love how it's written. Um, there's a record I have called Paradise that I really love. It's basically I don't think the guys are gonna like it too much, but it's basically one of those records that if you feel like your dude is kind of out there doing a little something something on the side, you throw that record on in the car and he gonna be like, oh word, that's the heat is on. on. <laughs> the microwave inside is on. Oh, okay, that, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm going to Bronx. <laughs> I like it, Shiny. Stomach aches. I like it, Shiny, because she keeps it real. <laughs> there it is. You know? You have to. And she called it Paradise, too. <laughs> yes, well, no, that's the metaphor, though. Right? Just, to be, yeah, just, just, just to be an ass. <laughs> She's like, you know what I'm going to call this record? I'm going to call it Paradise just to be an ass. I'm what, telling now, you. Now, what if the guy the puts it on, though? Now, what's going to happen? I, I got to hear the song. If so. the guy puts it on... I mean, it's gonna be obviously everything is gonna be flipped and it's gonna be what he's. Yeah, but we women, see, right. he does. He probably does it all the time anyway. Yeah, so. but we women, we don't cheat, so. Ever. Ever. You don't ever play poker because I'm going all in on you. <laughs> and I'm taking your money. <laughs> Both y'all stacks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. The love woman love. you love. The woman you love is an extraordinary song. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shout out to Jerry Wonder who produced the record. Um, on iTunes, get that. Anyway, you get should that iTunes popping. Before yeah. you go, you should really shout out the person that you're in love with. Go ahead. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm so so in love with I mean, KG because like, he played the record first. Yes, with KG because he played the. I'm, I'm gonna have to verify that though. You, the first time I heard anybody play it, Clue played it first. But oh, KG I, I, I'm said, saying, I'm saying, I'm on <laughs> CT and say I did it first in CT. Then. Okay, there it is. Right. There it is. Now, nah, I mean, you know, if you want to give a shout out to your boo. Yeah, sorry. Who, oh, the person that I'm like totally in love with yeah. that hits the sheets with me at night. And yes! All of that yeah. good stuff. Yes! Boom, yes! Boom, yes! Boom, yes. yes. <laughs> all right, turn the music down. Okay, go ahead. I just want to say that I'm really, really in love. Kid Fresh. Hard, my album. <laughs> <laughs>